Good morning guys, um, this is Alex from The Honest Entrepreneurs, welcome to the video. I just wanted to do a, a quick introduction, um, I'm on my, my balcony here in, in Barcelona, you can see it's a nice sunny sunny day, I thought I'd give you all a little glimpse of the city. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to give you a quick intro in, in, into the video that we've got coming up, um, I'll stop the camera spinning around I promise. Um, so we originally intended to do like a 40 minute video into some uh, product research, some live product research with one of our friends, Dan. Um, he's just getting into Amazon FBA, so he's got a lot of questions that I think are quite common for people just getting into, um, into the business. So Tom and I sat down um, and we go a little bit off topic at times. Uh, we, obviously, we keep, we keep it to, uh, to FBA, but we're having a little Christmas drink as well. So hopefully it's a, it's a fun video with some, some nice lighthearted jokes and stuff in there for you as well. Um, but I think if you're interested in product research and you're just getting started on Amazon, um, there's a lot, of, a lot of things that we talk about that are going to be valuable. Um, so it is a long video, but um, we, you know, we, hope you, uh, we hope you enjoy it. If you do have um, any requests, if you think, shit, you know, the, these guys are obviously um, kind of a little bit further down the line than perhaps than perhaps I am, but um, I'd love to ask them some questions. Please just drop a comment, uh, ask us any questions you have at all, and if you have anything that you'd like us to cover in in the videos, um, just let us know. You know, we're doing this for fun. We're trying to document our journey, um, but it's it's not easy coming up with with. Um, you know, ideas for what, what we want to create. So we'd love to hear from you guys if you want us to do um, stuff around how we found our niche or, you know, um, how we look at suppliers or anything like that, just just let us know. Um, I won't keep you too much longer because obviously the video as well is, is a bit of a long one, but we have a great day um, and, and, and everything goes well for you. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. <laughs> Three, two, one. And we're live. Cheers. Welcome to the video, everyone. Good evening. I'm here with my two pals. We've got Dan um, in the middle there with the with the Christmassy background, and we've got Tom, my um, slightly better looking half of the uh, Honest Entrepreneurs. Um, my name's Alex, and, and I'm 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 the host for this evening. I drew the short straw. Um, we're going to do a bit of a product research for you guys, video for you guys tonight, and Dan is our sort of um, he's, he's, he's been, protégé. eh? Protégé. Is it, yeah, protégé. That's the, is that French? Apprentice. This is an English yeah. only channel, Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> British apprentice, yeah. Um, so Dan, yeah, Dan's our new uh, protégé, protégé, whatever you want to say. Um, he's getting into Amazon FBA at the moment. Um, a bit of background on us, like I've known Dan for, what, what is it, Dan? 26 years, maybe? 27 years? We've known each other for a long time. It feels yep. like I've known Tom that long, um, but I haven't. It's been a, how long we known each other, Tom? Four, or five years? Yeah, four years, mate. You've got it in a diary somewhere, definitely, haven't you? <laughs> 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 um, so Dan's trying to get into the business, and Tom and I have been selling for well, we've been selling since August, did we launch? July, end, of, end of July. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, and we're, 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 we're steadily climbing and our goal for the end of next year is to be doing six figures a month. Uh, Tom, do you want to give a little flash of like the, our results and what we're on yeah. at the moment? Second. So in the last, you tell me this is in focus, in the last 30 days, as a global... Peterson, by the way. There we go. <laughs> 16, Hang 16 on. and a half thousand dollars. A bit bigger. Can you do it again? You couldn't see. <laughs> You can see that. There we yeah. go. So Perfect. 16 and a half K over the last 30 days in the UK and the United States combined. Nice. So yeah, I mean, and it's the plan. So tonight, go on, Tom, take it away. <laughs> I was going to say tonight <laughs> we're, uh, well, yeah, we want to, we want to introduce Dan uh, in a bit more detail to the most kind of important part of the Amazon FBA journey, basically, where which is the, the product research is probably seventy percent of the of the work is all it's very front end heavy, uh, but it obviously is vitally important to to ensure you get the right product, um, do your research properly, and uh, you know if you get the right one from the start, great. If you don't, you need to have another line of uh, a line of products you you got kind of ready to launch, and uh, plan out your whole year that way. Sweet. So Dan, do you want to give us just like a quick? intro into yourself and kind of like your your history with FBA I know you're, you're pretty new but like what what you're looking to do and um, just a little bit about yourself yeah 
Sure. So, um, hi everyone. I'm Dan. I uh, am the newest recruit to the uh, the Honest Entrepreneurs. Uh, my background is um, sales predominantly. So I've been in business development and, uh, and and sales for about 10 years. So I've always been interested in selling stuff and sort of um, buying and, and, and selling. It's just been a, an ongoing thing for me. And um, I've known Alex uh, for a long time. I've obviously, I've, I've, I've met Tom uh, a few times through Alex and I've always been interested in it, but I had mm. a, a real reservation around, I kind of felt way behind. And I think a lot of people feel that. And um, I was like, no, I'm, I'm just going to stick to what I know. And then the more I, I sort of learned about it, the more I heard about the success that these guys are having, the more I kind of became a bit more interested. Um, and so right now I am going through the Helium 10 uh, Freedom Ticket course, uh, which is which is brilliant. Um, I'm finding out loads of stuff. I'm making loads of notes. I'm asking lots of questions. So, so far, so good. Um, the content on that has been amazing. Uh, I do still have lots of questions, which I'll normally fire over to Alex and Tom. But um, yeah, so I'm, I'm for, for me, I'm, I'm looking to, I'm, I'm looking to grow, grow my own business and, and eventually sell it, similar to the, the dream of most FBA people, I think. So, uh, but yeah, no, it's, um, it's interesting. I've already had a few product ideas and, and a few sort of three, four a.m. nights where I've thought, Do you know what, I'm onto something, but. I really don't have a clue. So, uh, so yeah, uh, it's uh, just the very beginning of, of my journey, really. Dan, you said, didn't you say that the other day, you said the best, the best uh, kind of learnings in education you've had so far was from the previous five Amazon uh, The Honest Entrepreneur YouTube videos, wasn't it? That was exactly <laughs> it, Tom. I yeah. learned so much I in those videos. I did hear him say that, I think. I did hear him say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh, I, I learned so much. And I think for all you 24 subscribers, you're listening to some golden oh, content. We're on 26, Dan. We're on 26. 26, right. My bad. My bad. Uh, for right. you 26 subscribers, this is golden content that we should be charging for. But um, no, we're, we're giving this to you for free. <laughs> all right. Nice one, Dan. Well, cheers for joining us. And, and obviously, ask away any questions at any point. And uh, Tom and I are, you know, excited to kind of help you out, and in in I, I'm sure in turn we, we're helping you out. We're gonna like learn stuff ourselves as well, and it's gonna be a, a mutually beneficial sort of thing. So, um, without any further ado, let's sort of like jump into uh, the start of the video, and we can we can start looking at some actual product research. Um, so, you guys should be able to see my screen. So this is kind of, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is Helium 10. Um, and this is, this is one of the ways that Tom and I sort of do most of our product research. Um, and this is what's called black box. So some of you might be familiar with this. If you're not, um, check out Helium 10. Um, we'll probably do some more, more videos in the future where this will be, um, we'll go into this a little bit more in depth. Um, but for now, we'll try and keep it quite basic. But we'll show you some of the, the things that we look at when we're looking for, for products. And then... Tom will give his input because he sees things maybe a little bit different than I do. And then if Dan, you got any questions or whatever, then just, just sort of like, obviously let us know. Um, anybody watching this as well, like if, if, if there's anything that you want to see in terms of content, like if you're not sure about how to make a shipping plan or if you've got questions around like, you know, finding suppliers, then uh, just drop a comment below and we can, we, you know, we can look at all your comments and, and see what videos you'd like us to do. And then we can sort of cover them um, we're going to try and make this into like a mini series so we can come in with Dan and um, if he's looking at like suppliers or if he's, you know, if he's got a, a bunch of new products that he's looking at, we can, um, we can give all those ideas away to you guys. <laughs> no, just kidding. We can, you know, we can, we can sort of look at that stuff and, uh, and, and follow him on his journey as while we also follow, like follow our own journey as well. So um, Tom, do you want to give us like a quick intro into, into like the filters then and kind of like what we what we usually look at and then and then we can sort of like di dive into looking at some stuff yeah of course so the, the screen one at the moment so obviously with, with black box you've got a couple of different options there in the tab so you, you can filter it by products keywords niche product targeting so for now we'll, we'll start on keywords as one of the, the main ones um this and probably products are the main two that you're going to be using niche is quite a new addition um, which can give you some really good results. So maybe we'll look at that a bit later on. But for now, with keywords, uh, we'll start, I'll, I'll run through the top, the top ones, which are kind of the most important, and then we'll, we'll add some extra bits into the advanced filters below. 
Um, but for the volume, for example, we don't need to have crazy volume. I'd say for around that, you can have a minimum of 200 for a, for a, for a term just to kind of get, get you rolling. Obviously, you want your, your main terms are going to be a bit higher than that. Um, but just to give you a good kind of spread of data, I think that's fine. Monthly revenue, you need to make sure what you're doing is, is worth your while. Uh, so I say you want to be doing minimum of, say, 5,000, I think, at least. I think that's within, because within, what you need to bear in mind with is people obviously want to make, you know, they want, they look at the 200K a month pro, uh, product. That costs a hell of a lot of money to finance. Most of you guys that are starting out, you know, you're starting out with maybe four, five, six, to $10,000 of pounds. You need to make sure that what you're looking to do is affordable. Um, if you find a, pro, a product that's five grand, you know, you could maybe walk away with say 35% of net profit if you, if you go really well. That's decent money uh, to supplement your income or if you have have a kind of three or four of those products is it kind of builds up really nicely. Um, price wise, what you say there, Alex? I'd say obviously over over kind of 20 bucks normally we say. Yeah, I think we've kind of had like um we've gone a bit back and forth with this, haven't we? And like I think now as we've moved on, we've kind of realized that the higher price it gives you it's a lot easier with PPC. Um it, you know which which is important for for launching and stuff like that. So and I think this is one of the things that a lot of people that are new to it kind of do is, is because you're scared of losing money perhaps and you don't really want to invest very much, the, 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 the natural thing to do is kind of like think, well, I want to launch something that's really cheap. Um, you know, so you look at maybe something that's eight, nine, ten dollars or pounds, whatever it is. But in, in actual fact, it can end up being costing you more money to launch it because you, you spend a lot on PPC and you, 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 don't, you don't rank it as well and stuff like that. So, so yeah, I'd say like generally we usually go with like a minimum, minimum of 20 um and, and i think for now we, do, we don't we don't we don't put a max on there i think we can just sort of keep it uncapped and, and sort of look at it so what would you say about reviews then tom because i know this is a big one that people talk about right like it is yeah i think i think with reviews the anything below i've read, read a few stats that anything below four on amazon uh you're really going to drop uh you know you're, you're really going to drop off your your conversion rates so but obviously a lot of people do sell ahead of a lot despite having less than four stars. So I think a maximum review of, of four stars is going to- You're really talking about the review rating now, you mean, yeah. Add, oh yeah, review rating. So if you do a maximum of four stars, you're going to see some high performing people with bad reviews. So you might see some products that could be improved, um, some poor listings we might see in there. So that's some, something we can target. We can find a, kind of a weakness that we can exploit or improve upon. Um, that, that's probably a good way to go about it. If you're going to compete against five star, four and a half stars upwards to five stars, that's really difficult. Uh, they're going to be already kind of the leaders in that niche. So yeah. by setting this to four, we're going to cut those off straight away. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I think, I, I think like honing this down, like sometimes what I do here as well is I go even, I go even further and I do like 3.5 or even three. And then what that allows you to do is it like, is it really sort of like focuses it on, on the ones that, you know, are doing a minimum of 5k a month. Um, but the average sort of like review rating is really low. Um, so you can, you, you know, you could even go as low as two and you're obviously going to get less results. Um, but you're going to see really, really shitty listings. Was that before the five minute mark for the swearing? I don't know. I think we're good for that. Yeah. It's fine. We're gonna get, <laughs> uh, when we got millions of views, we'll be monetizing this. Don't worry. What about the review review uh, count then? Because um, this is another thing, right? That, that you watch a lot of the gurus online, and they're always talking about like you know you need to have a you know less than a hundred reviews when you're looking at stuff and stuff like that. What what do you think about that? I think it's not it's, it's over. I think it's over hyped in terms of you, you can definitely compete against highly reviewed products still. Um, like it's just a kind of a numbers game. As soon as you have over. What's the magic numbers? There's statistics on this, but something like 35 reviews yeah. kind of put in people's minds at ease straight away. When you launch a product, you're going to get 35 reviews in, in hopefully a couple of weeks. Um, so it's, it's not that important. If you, if you, if, we'll see in a minute when we do, do the search, but if the top 10 products on the, on the results page have got over like 800 reviews each, maybe have a think about it again. But yeah. we're going on the main page. What you're often going to see is, yeah, the top two or three might have over a thousand reviews, but then you'll probably see within there, there'll be a couple of hundred, 150, three, even 300, 400. Don't let that deter you too much. Um, they're, they're, they're still going to have weaknesses in their game that you can exploit and you can still um, do some kind of data analysis, which we'll come to in, a, in maybe a later video where you can work out what they're missing in their listing and what they're missing in their keywords. 
and you can nestle in nicely. Yeah, you haven't got to go for number one. You can go in and be kind of the fourth, the fourth best on the page and still take a nice slice of the pie uh, and earn good money out of it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, because I think, you know, it's one of the things that people obsess over a little bit too much. But I think if, um, if you've got a strong product and a really good listing, then you can compete. So, so should we, let, let's just leave that um, as it is then at the moment. And we'll, let, let's not put a, a sort of like a, a cap on that. What I'm going to do with, with the categories is I'm just going to select maybe like six or seven. Let me know, Tom or Dan, if there's any that you particularly want me to select. But I, I kind of generally go, so I, I go kind of baby. Um, and then let me know, Tom, if, the, if there's any that you would usually stick on. We, we, we do tend to, tend to steer away from electronics, right? Like um, it is one of those things that we know if you do manage to get approved to sell a certain electronic item, then, you know, that there's a great opportunity there. But I think, I think in the beginning, it's probably best to sort of keep it quite simple. So if you didn't know this, Dan, when you're selling electronics on Amazon, you need to get a lot of certificates to prove that it's yeah. properly tested and everything else. Um, so that, yeah. and even if, one of the things with this is, is even if you get that certificate from, from your Chinese supplier, you don't, you don't actually know whether it's legit. So I've heard in the past of people getting certificates and thinking that it's, it, it was actually been legitimately tested and Amazon closing the listing down, them sending in the certificate and them telling them it's not, it's not a legit certificate. So there's a lot of, um, you know, yeah. there's a, there's a lot what, of problems what there. What you find in, in the electronic market is, and going back to what you said earlier about the cheap products, is very much can, can become a race to the bottom with, with price. Um, you're going to compete in a, usually a saturated market, but like small electronics in particular, you're looking at kind of a ten dollar range, and there's, there's no way you're going to get it as cheap as I think a lot of the listings have probably come from from China, and they're, 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 they're the factories themselves that are listing. So yeah. if you really want to get involved in that. Is there can be a lot of black hat tactics, um, which you just if you can steer clear from. There's, there's plenty of other opportunities on Amazon. Uh, we don't need to get into that into that kind of market. Um, one thing I would say with, with the category there, yeah, baby's good. I think you'll see on, on a lot of Guru videos, like everyone selects kind of the same one. So try maybe think outside of the box. I sometimes go industrial and scientific. Just nice. have a, you get a bit chemically sometimes, which again, you don't want to get involved <laughs> on the chemical side, but um, for but sure. We shall, shall we untick baby then just to be a bit different? Yeah, let's get rid of baby. What, what else have you got there? Scientific, uh, patio, lawn and garden, 100%. Uh, toys and games, sport. yeah, I think so. Probably like pet supplies and sports and outdoors are probably the main two people think that's what they're going to sell products in. Mm. Um, I don't know that, Dan. What, what kind of what kind of hobbies you're, you're a bit of a car guy, aren't you? Is that worth looking at automotive? Yeah, let's do that one. Yeah, okay, for sure. Sweet. Let's pick that in there as well. So, I think one of like the first and immediate questions I've already got from kind of looking at this, and, and I don't know if you guys can, can, can answer it, but so everybody's trying to look for a product right so you know when you guys launch your product i think you spoke to me about it and obviously you kind of ended up going down a bit of a rabbit hole uh what what, what kind of advice do you have for people doing that because i think and immediately i'm looking at this and i'm thinking okay so if everybody is putting in 200 search volume that kind of revenue surely everyone's going to be coming onto the same same or similar product so um you know what advice have you got for for people starting out where you know they're trying to launch or think about a product you want to say that first off? um yes yeah, so i mean it's a great question this is what i obviously i think this is one of the things that actually like people that are thinking about it in the right way ask that question in the beginning because if everyone's do, doing the same thing and everybody's looking using the same filters um you know you're you're just going to be kind of looking at the same thing and so one of the things that Tom and I do generally is, is we focus on finding niches where we can see people that are selling um, and these people have really poor sort of listings. So there's a, lot of, there's a lot of ways that you can differentiate on Amazon with your products. Like you can differentiate by you know, making a different design or a different color or adding something to the product or bundling it with something else. But all of these things like, if you actually have to change the product when you're buying it from China, like it can actually be expensive or it can be really time consuming. Like my very first product, it took me a long time to change it. And I actually ended up making pretty much like a custom product. And in the end, it wasn't really worth it. But so I think the main thing that we look for now is, and it kind of goes against what some people are saying now is like low competition and, and, and not in the sense of like a low review count. But when you look at the niche and you can find people that are making good money, but their listings are shit. 
Um, and this is one of the things like for the people out there that are watching from the UK, for example, is if you're only looking in the UK, you're looking in a smaller market. So this is one of the things that Tom and I did early on was um, we sell in the US and we also sell in the UK, but obviously we're originally from the UK. And I think that a lot of people, um, you know, they, because they're from there, they think, well, this is where I should start selling. And it is a little bit easier in the beginning, but there's a much bigger, like there's a much bigger market in the US. So, and I think there's a lot of niches where there's more demand because there's just so many people and a lot of the listings and the people that are doing well, their listings are really shit. Like um, this was kind of like how we found one of our first products was we realized there was a, there was a few people making good money. We looked at their listings and were like, these are shit. Like we can do much better. So in the end, the products that we've launched, they're not, we've not, we've not like done anything crazy with the actual product. It's the same sort of thing as everyone else is selling, which it goes against a lot of the advice that other gurus give where they say, don't sell the same thing as everyone else what we do is like, we think, well, we can actually sell the same thing, but we make it look way better because we can see that the competition, they, they, their listings suck, they're copied, like their photographs suck. Um, so some niches that we look at and we can see the quality of the listings is really good. We'll just stay away from that. Um, so that's what, and that's one thing that, that is difficult to do with this helium 10 filter section. Um, you can look at the review rating so you can find products that have got low reviews but one thing about that is, is um, you know, it, when you're sourcing from China, if you find the same product, you're probably not going to be able to make that product any different unless you spend a lot of money getting a new mold or getting something changed. So, um, you know, so we really focus on, on like finding niches where the, the, the quality of the, of the listings is, is, is poor, basically. And it is one thing that you can't really do here. Um, and that's when you have to dive into Amazon. So that's why we use this as our starting point. And then once we go into Amazon, that's where we really, really get into the flow of like going down the rabbit hole and, and, and finding those like lower quality um, niches. Well, should, we, should we dive into a search here? So we had some, add, add some of these last. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, before we end up uh, our beans boring, early, yeah. boring the, uh, the pants off people. All right. So yeah, let's get in. So variation count. So th this, for, this for me is one that I like to cap at like, too, because I don't really want to look at uh, when you're looking at something, I don't really want to see stuff where they've got six variations, because if you're launching a new product, it's difficult to compete against people that have a lot of variations of like color and size and stuff. Um, so I generally try to keep that as two, but you can just play around with that as, as you like. Um, monthly sales, I'm not really too bothered about because we've got the minimum revenue there. Um, competing products. What do you think about this, Tom? This is one that we usually try to cap, right? Um, I think we cap it around, we keep that at two, I believe. No, so this is when, you know, when you get the search results in the top and it says... Oh, right, sorry. That, that, yeah, that, yeah. That, yeah, so that, there. yeah, so that, that one, that's really useful. I usually look at that on the Amazon itself, but if you find a niche or a product where there's less than a thousand results, for example, that's really promising. Um, <laughs> if on a search you're seeing kind of 10,000 plus, it's going to be it's going to be hard work for you to get a good BSR, but a thousand that's that's pretty low for Amazon, especially in America. So we cap it at that, and it should give us a, a more refined and a bit of an easier um, kind of market entry point. Okay, sweet. So um, this is kind of what we're looking at then. Like as as I, as I said before, like we don't we don't obsess over these, and we play around with it a lot. Like we put in different things, that's but a little bit in this uh, ten minutes intro. Isn't well, it? yeah. <laughs> Uh, but I think there's a lot of interesting talking points with this bit though as well. Like, but it's it's generally like the the starting point to what we do. But um, but yeah, I take take it. Got your hint on let's let's kick, let's kick it off. I got Chris and Shocking to do after this. I finally got an audience. <laughs> You've got to give the viewers what they want. All right, so let's go through these then, and let's let let's sort of like um, if you see any that catch your eye, Dan, let us know, and then mm -hmm. then, then we'll sort of do the same. So, I mean, straight away, st stuff like this for me is, is, is I mean, commercial rice cooking is probably going to be electronic, right? So I'd, I'd probably stay away from that. Yeah. I'm 220 bucks. Yeah. Also, branded stuff like this, you'll see a lot. Obviously, you can't really, unless you're doing wholesale, you can't really sort of compete with that. Mm. Muscle toner. What, what is, that's worth, worth having a quick look. So what, two, so 2,000, so what you're seeing there, Dan, is... That's 2,200 searches a month for that 
that keyword, which is which is decent. Um, yeah. You can definitely build off that. There'll probably be a lot of a lot of keywords around it as well. Seventeen k. That's that's decent. Not crazy money, but definitely nothing kind of worth turning your nose up at. Four hundred and fifty sales as well. That's decent. Thirty eight dollars. That's again in a good in a good range. Yeah, it's a good good price range. Should we, should we take a look? No, nah, it's one of these things, right? Ronaldo does these. Whoa, look at this. That trick. <laughs> Better believe for the dads. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I think I... You get one of these and it did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, like my, my, my first impressions with this is it all looks exactly the same. And... And also what I'd be thinking here is like, when we were talking about how you can sort of different, differentiate the products, like for me, it would be really difficult to differentiate this because like you're buying, it's a technical type of product where like you're going to, you're going to only be able to buy one type of product really like in a different color, maybe from China. So th this isn't really sort of something that I could see how you could like really easily. And plus it's electronic as well. So we're probably going to need, um, can you go back up to the top a second? Did, did it have a, what the kind of, is it sponsored ads at the top, I presume? So down, down slightly. So sponsors, sponsor ads, there's four sponsors. So that's another thing to notice, Dan. So in some of the niches you'll see, there, there might be two sponsors. Sometimes if you get lucky, there's, zero, there's no sponsored ads, which is super yeah. rare, but if you get that, then definitely do a bit more research because you might be onto a, to a winner there. This has got four sponsored in the, on the top row so that means that it's very good and above the four sponsored is is the uh there's more adverse and below yeah. it is the video as well so that tells you that it's ultra competitive straight away obviously yeah. we are in december so this is a, a high time of year for these it's probably a little bit seasonal um mm -hmm. i imagine in january it takes off and people are trying to lose the christmas weight but that tells you that straight away it's expensive um it's, it's competitive to get there uh the fact that there's a 20 reviews one there, maybe they just released. Well, I guess they probably just have. They're probably in their honeymoon phase. So they're getting a bit of help from Amazon. And um, what I mean by the honeymoon phase is something you've probably heard about before, but it's when, when you first launch, it's never been confirmed by Amazon, but everyone pretty much knows you get two to three weeks where they're going to push you a lot higher in the rankings just to mm -hmm. test, your, test your sales out. Um, if, yep. you can, if you can stick the land in and, and prove kind of good, good reviews and good sales lost to you, you don't buy a stock. That's how you kind of how you stay there. But what will have probably happen is this guy is top now, which is which is pretty crazy. But in a month's time, when everything's kind of settled, he'll probably drop down to the bottom of page one, maybe if he stays in stock. And then over time, he'll he might slowly creep up again. Um, but when you first launch, you can get a false sense of achievement because you are in that honeymoon phase. So just be a bit careful. If you launch a product, it goes really well you will need to reorder fairly quickly, but give it enough time for you to get enough data. You can see, is the product going to be a success? Um, because you don't want to go and order, you know, $10,000 worth, um, which we know some guys that might have done that, and then uh, get get screwed um, with some, some some other bits of odds that can go wrong. So be a bit cautious yeah. when you first launch doing yeah. that. And the thing that I'm seeing about this, and <clears throat> I think we should probably move on from this one pretty quick, because, but to, like, the, the listing quality is, is, is pretty, pretty good, right? Like the, the photo, I mean, the photos are good. The listing is obviously made really well. Um, Not Photoshop, is it at all? That woman's definitely lost. I that. mean, this is obviously legit, but I mean, you know, this is, this is not something where I look, where we'd be looking at this and thinking, right, this is a pretty shitty quality listing. If, and they, they all kind of look at the same. And also the thing is with these review counts is because this is like a functional product. It, it pro yeah, these people are probably complaining that it didn't give them a six pack or whatever. So like, you're not gonna, there's no way you're gonna be able to change that, right? So, yep. um, yeah, so this is one that I would, that we'd, I think we'd quickly sort of uh, discount. And then we're probably gonna get these seasonal ones in here as well, aren't we? Yeah, we are this time of year, we will do, yeah. Should we fly through these? Um, shop game, no. Tell you what we should do, maybe, maybe Got yeah, maybe deselect toys as a category for now, just because it's because we're near Christmas. Be mega Christmas. Yeah, it's gonna be very seasonal. I just realised as well that I'm not gonna be able to show the BSR graph because I'm in incognito. Oh uh, yeah, true. Well, we can still. Look I didn't notice where they. We can see where they. Uh, I'm just gonna move you guys over here. Um. 
One thing I did notice from that, that listing, um, the first one that you opened there with the Abtona, whilst the pictures were pretty good, the thing that I'm kind of looking out for is 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 like the bullet points. Like the bullet points grammar was awful. Like I, although mm. I, I wouldn't be a, a product I would I would look to compete with based on the number of, of, of people that were in it and um, the lack of ability to kind of diversify the, the 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 bullet points of that first one. I don't know if anyone noticed that were were pretty mm. pony. Um, they were absolutely awful. So um, yeah, I think with with those like the bullets. The main thing with Amazon that people get a buy off when so on a on a search like on a results page like this, they're gonna see the main image and then the reviews. That's the main. Your eyes are going image out of then the score out of five. You might yeah. you might read the first third of the title, and then anything past that once you, once you get into the listing again, the images are by far the most important thing. The the bullets themselves, like you, you might do, like the old person does read, but it's very unlikely they're going to read all your bullets. However, it's definitely important to have good bullets because obviously you, you then, you spotted by a grammar straight away, that might put you off as a bit of a pony company. Uh, but one thing for us sellers is the, use the bullets and you use the title. It's all about indexing. So you want to use those as best you can with decent English still, but the main thing you want, the main benefit of, of those kind of the, the title and the bullets is to rank your product. So if we do proper keyword analysis and get all the, the correct data, which is all kind of readily available on using Helium, uh, break it down the right way. And then on your launch straight away, because you've done it all properly, you'll rank for everything you want to rank for. You index yeah. it and then you'll set off that. And then you can kind of change bits in the future to add, add bits like, you know, good a kind of Christmas seasonal gift part, for example. But in reality, like, I don't think anyone's really getting past but at three, really. But it, again, yes, it's, it's, it still can put you off if they are bad. Yeah. Right. Should we, should we, should we take a bit of a closer look then at some, uh, some more stuff? So this is one that I clicked into, which is um, a, a Gomet Press. Um, so one thing that we look at, Dan, is we look at like the number of results here, because like this is essentially telling us like how many, how many like listings there are you know, for this product. So yeah. we always, we, 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 like, if you can get this, like, really low, it means, you know, there's just not as many people in the actual niche. And you actually find that in the US, it's easier to find markets where there's lower amounts of competing products because there's a lot more niches that are kind of, like, smaller on their own. But, um, mm. so, I mean, I think this looks like it's some sort of, like, rivet machine or something. Like, I'm not really sure... Um, I'm really middle class, so I never work with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm not really, I'm not really sure what this is. But, um, <laughs> as you drink your red wine through a tumbler glass. Yeah. As I, um, do we have? A, I mean, so the fir the first thing is, is you've got these. It looks like you've got like a pretty well established brand at the top here, which generally isn't great. Like you, you know, if you can find something where this this isn't happening, it's it's a positive. Um, and then you've got these two here that are obviously the same. Well, they're, no, they're two different brands, right? But it looks like the exact same product. Mm -hmm. uh, so why, why don't we like actually dive into what it is? <clears throat> Did you see the spread of the the spread of the the price point? There was the top one was only so what, thirty nine bucks, thirty nine bucks, and then what's below that? The one, the one you clicked on is what 60, 67, 67 yeah. was it? Yeah. That was the launch, obviously. And what? Oh, so can we see? Can we see their forecasted revenue? That's the thing. <clears throat> we've now jumped on to so we can access Helium properly on the listings. Yeah, so we're back. We realised we couldn't show you the um, the 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 sort of BSR and the sales history. So let's look at this one again. Let's look at the sixty-seven ninety-nine one. Um, I mean, immediately, Dan, this is one of the first things that's really useful, right, is looking at this BSI graph. So do you know what this is? Have you seen this before? Yep. So you know how it works? Yep. Okay, sweet. So, I, I mean... I understand. I can know it all. Um, <laughs> no, I'd rather not, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm on this, I'm on, this on, um, on the Helium 10 thing at the moment. It shows all the, it shows all the historical information. It shows the the price change in the middle, I believe. Uh, all the sales figures. It's just it's just basically all the information around the the sales history, um, yeah. I believe. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So I, what? So basically, this this is this is one of the the best ways to find out like how long a product's been selling and and yeah. and, and how consistently it sells because 
the BSR is basically that how popular it is and the lower it gets, the, the more popular it is. So you can see this only actually launched in September. Um, it looked like it quickly went out of stock uh, and then it's been pretty consistent since then. So if we- How, how if we, can you see it went out of stock? So do you see this, this where, where this has shot up really high? Yeah. Most of the time, this is, it, this is because it's out of stock. Um, so they probably launched around here. They, they, it looks like they probably sold out quite quickly or something happened with the listing perhaps. But generally when you see it really shoot up like that, it means that it's gone out of stock and then they've gone, they're coming back in stock. What, what, what you'll see on the free ticket course, um, which, is, which is very good, but also with a lot of other gurus as well, is you don't obviously want to go out of stock. It's not ideal. Um, but it's, they put so much importance on it when in reality, if you look at this guy, he's, I mean, maybe we'll find out in a minute we're incorrect here, but just, just as a guess, he's probably in a market here, which isn't that competitive. So he's tested the product probably for a small budget, to be honest, which is useful if, if a lot of people can't afford to kind of spend, you know, 15 grand on their first product and have, have two and a half months of stock, like everyone says to do. This guy's gone in there. He's gone way better than expected. He's sold out, which obviously isn't, isn't great, but look how fast he's come back in to rank again. Because if you do yeah. the correct research and you do find a niche that isn't saturated, you know, it, it took him, what, about a week there to come back to where he was and he's actually improved from where he went out of stock. So it's not the end of the world and, and don't, don't think that because you haven't got the, the budget to go you know, three months in on, on stock straight away, don't let it put you off completely because it, as you can see there, it is definitely possible just to get your ranking back straight away. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. In, in a in a lesser competitive market, definitely. I mean, so so if we take a look at like the data, this guy this guy is, this guy's doing about ten k a month, um, but obviously that's only one hundred and forty four units, um, and his price point is sixty seven ninety nine. But it looks like he's pretty quickly sort of um, you know he's ranked quite quickly. And then another thing, so another thing, what we would do at this point is we would click on this here where it says keywords. And then this will load up Helium 10. And this will tell you exactly what keywords this guy is ranking for, which is really important because then you can start to get a sense of like the, the size of the market. So mm -hmm. remember, so this guy only launched at the end of September, I think the 20th of September, it said. So he's, he's not been, really been selling for very long. And we can see he's ranking for 562 organic keywords. But then when we come down here, we can see, for example, he's already ranking number one for Gromit Press. Um, which is 1377. So in the space of, um, in, in the space of like a couple of months here, not even that, right? Like, so he pretty, pretty quickly went here, then he went out of stock. So it looks probably like a market where if you can make sales, you're probably going to rank quite quickly because it's, it's obviously not taken him very long to, to rank for this, um, to rank for this, this, this top keyword. So, it, this looks like it's the main keyword, this Gromit Press. <clears throat> if, you, if you just, sorry to interrupt, if, if you go up to the, to the filters a second. So here, what we can do, organic, see the organic rank third along. So let's say he's obviously doing fairly well. Let's put that as maximum 20. Just so that's, that's gonna, we're going to see then what he's going to do. Yeah, 20, 20 there. And then let's go search volume so we know where he gets the sales from. I know earlier I said 200 for an overall volume, but what that was doing was kind of casting a wider net. So let's set this as 500 in the first um, I mean, I'd usually go a bit lower because I think you can still get decent sales through keyword, like if all those keywords no, are no, right? For sure you can, but what I, what I want to show here is if you want to see where the high volume is around your product, it might not be yeah. exactly like that exact money maker, but if we just have a look at this at the moment, obviously we can, we can, the good thing about Helium is that you can kind of play around with this and it, you, you should do that. It's what, what's what it's there for, play around the parameters. But we can see there that straight away, it's a rivet press, the Gromit, Gromit press. That's really good volume. It's not crazy volume, so you know it's not going to be too competitive, I, I'd imagine. Um, but you've got some really good volume there. And then the fact that he's, where does he rank for Toolkit with 110,000 volume? That's crazy. He's not ranking for that, no. Is it not? Is it not in top he's, he's not ranking. For, yeah. Oh, because sorry, you need to put them. So you need to put the minimum here as one. <clears throat> yeah. What's he got there? Twenty. So it, it so it it looks then. So there's basically seven keywords here that he's ranking in the top twenty four um, that are driving most of his sales. So like this kind of tells us that like 
it's you know like it, it doesn't seem like a super competitive market because this guy seems like he's he's he, you know he's he's only launched <clears throat> in September. He's got thirteen reviews, and he's already doing ten k a month. Um, you know, it is a higher ticket price, but he uh, priced item, but he's he's doing one hundred and fifty units a month. You know, if you could get a nice margin on this of, you know, 35, 40% with a good ROI, this could be something, you know, that potentially, you know, you could, you could come in with because it doesn't look like it's super competitive in the sense that he's ranked quite quickly. And what you can also see with, with on um, Cerebro there. So what, what you see there, Dan, is with, with the volumes, right? Let's just say, the, obviously, the Gromit and, and Rivet Press are the, are the most, kind of the, the highest volume ones. But let's say there was, for example, 30 of these terms, which, which will see quite a lot when you, when you find the kind of the leader in, in the niche. You, you can see they might rank pretty well for the, the, top, the top volumes. So let's say you've got searches at yeah, 2,500 to say 4,000. But let, let's say there's, hypothetically speaking, 10 searches with volumes around 500 to 800. When you launch your product, you don't need to go and smash your keywords on, on say, Rivet Press. What you yeah. do go for those mid-range, so go for the 500 to 800 target. That, that he's not ranked that well in just now, just to sort of differentiate and, and, and get a different audience. It's not so, well, that kind of in part, but mainly because the top, top keyword would be more competitive. So if you, yeah. if you aim for the top straight away, you might not get there because you haven't got the kind of the data behind you. But if you, then, if you go in 500 to 800, the, the, the mid-range, start getting sales from that, target that with PPC as well, for example. Once you kind of consolidate your position there, then you push for the higher, the higher terms because you, you've got the data behind you. So if you then say, try to do a bit of PPC on the top term, you've got enough good reviews and enough good sales data where they're probably going to show you and you're probably going to get sales and then you cement that place. So you don't always need to attack the top and straight away. You can kind of attack the middle and then build up to it. Yeah, yeah. So just looking at his listing here, then he's like one one thing that stands out for me is like these are all actually different brands, um, but they all seem to be selling the same thing, right? Like this this looks exactly the same as like this one, for example, or this one. Um, so I mean, one downside to this for me is like it would probably be, and, and the, the 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 images look pretty good as well. Like the th these are pretty solid sort of listings. Like this has got a video, for example. Um, if we look at this guy, for example, so this guy's been selling since November 2019, and you can see here, you know, his his sales were up and down; they weren't too good. And then it's it's probably since about May, July-ish that he's started to do really well. So this is probably without even looking at helium, the the, the revenue. This is probably doing a lot of revenue now because the sales rank is 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 dropping below 3,000 sometimes. So if we if we check this now. If we check this now and see kind of like what revenue is doing, it's probably doing a lot. So it looks like within this niche, there is a lot of demand. Um, so we would kind of, we'd probably carry on looking at this and we'd probably see, yeah, so you can see this guy's doing 42,000. Um, so it, it looks like within this niche, there is, there is a, a decent, let, and let's see what the, the keywords is ranking for compared to the, the, the previous one that we looked at. <clears throat> so this is basically the same product, but it looks like it's a bit more of an established listing. Like he's been selling for a bit longer. Um, Quite strong reviews there as well. Yeah. yeah. And is that, and is, um, did you notice? Did you check uh, what what size is he? What because what, I noticed the FBA fee is quite quite low. Did you go on the. Did you scroll down to the profitability calculator to see what what size the. Uh, can you go up, go, go, up, go up a little bit above, above BSR? Oh, this one, yeah. Yeah. So we can see what size he is. So he's large at the standard. Standard. Large standard. So his fees there are quite low as well. He's yeah. Actually, he's probably making, obviously, we had to look at, we had to look at sourcing it and the, the, the cost of the product, but he falls in that nice, that nice kind of market yeah. with like oversight, which is much lower fees. And obviously, yeah, you can kind of get a, a yeah. nice amount in that way. And, and, and this is an interesting thing that we always look at as well, Dan, is like the, the things that are frequently bought together. Um, yeah, because one of the things, and and this is one of the key points for stuff that we look at as well is, is we don't just look at individual products. We try to think of like if we entered this niche. So this niche is like home improvement uh, tools. Like if we entered this niche, would we be able to sell a portfolio of products within this niche, not just you know not just the the individual um, products itself. 
Um, should, we, should we move on to something a bit different? I, I mean, I, I think probably this could be something that we, we might actually, we, we potentially would look a bit further on. Maybe we'd look at Alibaba and we'd try and see like if there's some different models or if there's any other. The, the promising thing for me is that the, <clears throat> the other guy, he didn't have that many reviews and he'd only been selling since September and he was already ranking quite well, um, yeah. which is a good sign. Um, let's, have, let's, have look, let's, let's jump back on, uh, on Helium. Let's have yep. a look at a different way of, of viewing it. So if we look at the product filter instead of the... Um, yeah, that's a good shout, yeah. And then one of the little tricks which uh, we like to do, which we don't, we haven't seen it on any other videos actually. So that's true, yeah. we just save it for our... Uh, so you want to talk us through this then, Tommy, looking a little bit at... Um... Yeah, so well with this, I mean, just, let's, let's just fill these in quickly again. So a similar thing with the revenue and the price. So let, let's just do the same as so before. What did we have it on? We had it on industrial scientific. Let's, let's just let's just do a couple because we can keep it a bit more. Okay, uh, yeah. Let's keep it. Let's keep it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Let's throw, um, throw in um throw in home and kitchen just because it's a, an easy one in terms of uh, people can relate to it a bit more. I imagine. Yeah, cool. And then the same as before, five thousand to um, twenty review count, review rating. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, review rating. Let's do maximum of uh, four again. Yeah. And then. So this is the one you're talking about, right, Tom? This is looking at the, no the maximum number of images, right? Yeah, so this, this kind of expands on the point earlier about <laughs> where we, we like to target poor listings uh, and, and kind of in, improve on them and, and expose them, basically. So what you see Alex has done there is put maximum three images. Amazon, as you probably noticed on the listing, you can have up to seven images uh, or with a video as well. You, you should use all those. It's, it's crazy not to use everything Amazon, Amazon gives you. Like the, the pictures, as I said earlier, they're worth more than, than the words by a mile. So these listings here now, so that they, they're going to be they're going to four stars or less, but they've only got, they might have crappy bullets and crappy images and only maximum three images. So they're not utilizing their whole, uh, the whole kind of, yeah. Their, their allowability, that's not a word, oh. is it? What am I trying to think of here? <laughs> but effectively, yeah, they're not using their, what they're allowed to have and that, that's kind of a big weakness is that an image there that's crazy that, they're, they're images i think we might be onto something cut the tape because we found it the we found it <laughs> they know we did it <laughs> well, there's a lot of variations there and it's jesus right. i mean look at the beer i mean this obviously isn't selling very well like long term because you look at this i mean let's let suck that one up come be sack suck it off so, I mean, straight away, you can't really come through with this many variations. It's going to be a bit mental, but... Um, let's just go back to the, uh, to the list. Okay, let's have a go back. Sofa, probably not. Yeah, this is the thing I find sometimes with, though, with home and um, automotive, what's this? Teak plugs. I'm not sure what that is. Is it worth a look or...? No, let's keep, let's keep now, What about this, though? Um, that doesn't I'm work. The, but it's just it's a skid resistant an entry mat and it? it's like a foot mat when you uh, when you walk into your house yeah extra long i don't know fab fabrics I, I i i don't fabrics scare me a bit why is that tom uh not like a not a real not a real fear i mean scare me on amazon i feel like it's a it's a hype it's, with a lot of them, you see a lot of variations. So I've always, when I first started looking at products, I kept finding things like curtains and yeah, and those kind of things. And then you'll see you've got a listing that have twenty different colours, and it just puts. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because th that's the thing. Yeah, they've got a lot of lengths, haven't they? Yeah, so that's going to be. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. What else have we got? Yeah. Bathroom mat. Well, uh, while Alex is scrolling through trying to trying to find one. I mean, this, by the way, this is what it takes. Like, it's not all glamorous. It's not all like, I know our lifestyle looks like rock and roll and amazing, but <laughs> a lot of our clients. Again, a lot of variations here. I'm doing this. But Dan, have you got any, are there any other kind of main questions you had? Um, or after seeing us kind of, we, we actually went on holiday together this summer, the, the three of us and our other pal went with us to, to Lisbon. And you saw us obviously speak about Amazon a lot, but you also saw me on the phone to, set of support every day trying to get an issue fixed so kind of what is there any uh what, what kind of drew you to it more than anything um knowing that you're kind of seeing what we were going through i think um 
I, I don't. I think. I think for me, I've I've always been. Um, I've always been someone that's interested in 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 this sort of thing, and I I, I like feeling like I'm I'm in control of, of 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 what I'm potentially earning with 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 data. So I've always loved numbers. I love spreadsheets. I love assessing things and making decisions based on data. Um, I don't know whether that is is just something. I don't know. It's just I. I, I I think it's probably good for people to see that we're kind of spending the time just kind of going through it and chatting about it because I I, I thought that most people will, will kind of reverse engineer this product research thing by just sort of searching and and and, and I think it's good that that we you kind of go down that rabbit hole a little bit and just start looking at stuff and and and, and talking about it. But I, no, I don't I don't think there's really much to um, really much to to kind of say to be honest mm -hmm. i think i think it's it, it's it, this is all really really helpful it's, it's it's good listening to you guys what you're saying and obviously this this comes supernatural to you guys right now but to me it, it, it doesn't i think yeah i think just being in control of 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 making decisions based on data um and treating it like a business is the bit that probably excites me the most um and i think for anyone out there that's that's looking to do this i i i i think that this is probably one of the most important parts really so I, I, you know take your time but I guess when you find something and make a decision I, I also I also plan to be pretty decisive myself so I, I think yeah you know you guys have, have, have said that to me so uh, what you can do what's kind of is decent from when you first start obviously you you don't like everything we're doing now so yeah like you said it kind of comes naturally because we've, we've done it for a while now so you you do get a lot faster as you look through you can you can discount products kind of straight away within it within a couple of seconds whilst when we first began we kind of you find something you think you found something you get really excited you kind of chat about it you send the pictures you're sourcing it on alibaba and then you might have missed a really obvious hole so it's good yeah. to kind of get it right from the start alex if I'm, feel free to get rid of home and kitchen if it's thrown up all this i mean i mean so like I'm, I'm looking at this stuff like with the with the bathroom mat sort of stuff and like i know what you're saying about the 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 variations but i mean so so this is this is a pretty good example though of um like whether listening's just not that great like this i mean this is probably not something that i would pursue with this many variations but it's an example like look at this this so this is 3450 so it's a good it's a good um it's a good price point you know, it's got three and a half stars. There's probably some stuff in here that we can look at in terms of like, look, like look at the negative reviews and see what the negative reviews, what people are saying. Um, but like, look, I mean, there's two, I mean, it's just a bath mat, but the quality of the listing is not that great. It's really pretty shit. Um, like if we wanted to, if we wanted to, we could make a way better listing than this. Um, I'm not saying we would because it's got a lot of variations. There's some other stuff, but this is kind of what we would be looking at is, is stuff that's where you look at the listing and you just think that's a bit shit and we could be better than that. Um, yeah. To expand on your point that you just mentioned about the reviews, because this is the kind of thing where, yeah, you think it kind of, that's that we know that now to do that, but what you meant by that, Dan, and what you can do with Helium actually is you, you can use people's reviews to improve on their product. So with this, yeah. you're going to, you look at it this way, look at the one stars, or with Helium, there's, there's the review downloader tool. If you can click on it now, actually, and if you just click the, um, the Helium tab and show be it's below the x ray, I, 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 it's weird. I'm, I'm just on that, I'm just on that um, module at the moment where it, yeah. where it collates all the good stuff and the bad stuff and it gives you the analysis based on like the algorithm and, and the data science behind it. Is that, is that what you mean? Yes, yeah, so that, that, what that's going to give you as well. Which, anyway, so I think Kevin King in the video will say this, but. We, we use that, for example, with one of our listings. We, we found all the good stuff from a, from a competitor, kind of took all that and then made a note of it. We're definitely going to include that in our photographs and in our listing. Yeah. Found all the bad stuff um, of, a, of a kind of a competitor with, with a very similar product that, that, that was slightly different to ours. Find what they're poor at and then pointed, out the, pointed that out in our listing that ours doesn't have those features. So yeah. you use all the data, like Amazon... It, especially with Helium, it, it gives you so much. We should stop, we should probably sign up as affiliates to Helium because we're just bigging them up so much. Maybe we will when we get to 50 <laughs> subscribers or something. Not for now. Um, but for now, yeah, you got to use it. But it's got so many features. You know, it's not it's not the cheapest thing to have. It's not the cheapest tool, especially when you're just starting out. You know, it's like 80, 90 bucks a month. But you, for that money, like you really should utilize it. I think what 
what's happened in the past, like a couple of years ago, there was, you'd need to get multiple different tools and, and pay different subscriptions for everything. And now with Helium, it kind of is under one, mm. under one. Yeah. Helium with, you only need Helium. It's got everything you need to do to, to launch. Should we, should we keep this on? Should we keep going then? Should we keep this focused in on these, these uh, products? So like what, so what were you saying then, Tom, about the, the review stuff there? I was saying that we can use the reviews to analyze, to, to kind of build the listings and build out and see where, the, see where the weaknesses is, see where you can improve the listing and where you can improve the product as well. No, but did, were you not saying something about on here what we can look at with the... No, you showed, you showed it already, the review downloader. Ah, right. Do you mean up here, this with the... Yeah. So basically, yeah, you can come in here and you can download the... the look at the review and say, oh, sorry, is that what you meant? Yeah, okay. This is what I'm working with, Dan. This is what I'm working with every day. <laughs> uh, well, we got to keep it on top we got to keep looking at shit, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> you can you can you can big up heal them all you want when we're an affiliate. I just want a tester like Trev on uh, Trev on Peterson. I mean, <laughs> I haven't even got car. Let's have a look at moment, this. What, so... what, what's this? A, bu um, a, bun a bungee saucer chair. What is this? Perfect for dorm rooms. So this is what we're talking about, Dan. Right? It's got one picture. Sometimes the other variation has more. But it's probably sold by Amazon. We can look that it, it, it look the sales are a bit inconsistent, but they look like they're doing pretty well recently. So there's 26 in, 26 in chairs in total, total which is so it, pretty it must be doing pretty well. Yeah, so we're looking at the, the revenue is decent, 25K. Looks like there's another seller on there. So there's a couple of sellers. So actually, yeah, I'll go up again very quickly. So this is one thing you got, you can feel with this on Helium as well. But you notice on the right hand side there, you've got sold by a couple of different people. If you scroll down slightly, so Amazon have got this as well. Amazon have got the buy box, but below that you see there's other sellers. So yeah, there's, yeah. Not, there's customer is king. So they're ones where this product is is an open listing. It hasn't. I'm guessing it hasn't got. Oh, that's got uh, brand, brand, uh, Should we see the keywords that it ranks for? Run that by me again. You're saying this is being sold by Amazon themselves, you mean? Yeah, so they've got the buy box. So that you'll see that when you when you do the X-ray, um, yeah. you can, oh, can you just click on the listing again and show them, the, them X-ray? So if you can X-ray the page, see buy box, Amazon. Okay. That yeah, buy you can see here it says Amazon, yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's generally got the name of, uh, yeah, it's always, it's always got the name of the buy box, so that would normally be the listing, uh, kind of the winner, basically, of the listing. So what you want, if, if the market is most sellers like us go into, with FBA, you obviously want to be doing private labels, so you don't want products where other people are going to jump on your listing, which is why, you know, you get brand registry, so you can make it trademarked, or it's why you want to sell something you, only you, can can, can fulfill. So, yeah. for example, like if you, if, uh, just hypothetically speaking, let's say you had... A product with a with an ebook, for example. I say with an ebook, you you can't really get hijacked because nobody else can provide that ebook that you have. So that you can use that kind of like defensive strategies like that, just to kind of guard yourself against kind of black hat tactics and also just other people selling your products. So it looks it looks like this is the main keyword. Then this is um, this bungee chair thing, and it ranks fourth for that. Um, I've never seen these things look like. I've never heard of this before ever in my life. I have no idea what that is. What's the volume over on the on this main? So the volume on this main keyword is 24K. And this is another thing that you can do, Dan, is if you click on here where it says search volume, you can see the trend so that you'll, you'll see. I mean, it's pretty, I, I thought this might have gone through the roof because of Christmas. But you can see this is actually throughout the year, this is pretty consistent. Like it probably does go yeah. over at Christmas, but um, it seems like it's pretty consistent across the year. But I mean, if we kind of look at the guys like, if, so if we're looking at the BSR here. So this is um, these top ones, like this one does well. But again, look at this, this is one photo again. I mean, I wonder if this is like a big brand or if it's just a, I mean, one thing to say about this is this is gonna be an oversized item. So it's gonna, the, it, a lot of people would avoid looking at something like this because it's, it's gonna be big, um, which, you know, causes some complications with shipping and stuff like that but but if you can finance that like that's that's one thing as well this this video will be seen i i, I imagine by people with different budgets if you 
have got the budget to, to go for the large ticket items, you're going to see much less competition, really, because people are scared off by that. So if you, if you can afford it, definitely don't discount it and, and look at the kind of that oversized market, especially if you have a bit of experience with shipping as well. Um, because it, yeah. it, something like this, if you look at this product, like, yeah, that will be big at Amazon, but it, it clearly folds up. So you could probably ship this from China to America for, for not too crazy a price send it to a 3PL, like a third party logistics company in America, and then get yeah. them to package it there for you. And then you're going to save kind of a decent amount of money. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. That way. And, and again, like we, I know we keep going on about the images, but like, I mean, they, they're using one image here. They're not even, they're not even taking advantage of all the, I mean, you know, you, you could definitely make a better listing than this. And, and this is doing 50K a month. Um, wow. That is insane. But it's awful as well. Yeah, and then we got ones like this that looks like a little bit of a variation. It doesn't really seem like anybody. I think this is the original one we looked at, maybe, but it yeah. doesn't really seem like anybody sort of um, really nails the list. You notice as well, there's only, there was only one. There was one sponsored advert at the top of that search result as well. So for a 24,000 volume to only have one sponsored ad at the top, that tells you that's another kind of good sign as well that there's, there's definitely a bit of... What, what is that one? What are, what are those shipping at then? What, what, what size? Um, so if you yeah. want to... You're right, Tom. Yeah, there's only one sponsored ad, which is another... So if we look at probability calculator... So this is medium oversize. Um, okay. Look at the fee there, Dan. See FBA fee. So you've got a $19 fee just for shipping alone. And then you've got eight bucks, which is 15% of the, the, the revenue. So the, you're looking at pretty big fees there straight away. And as we said, Wait, earlier, where's, the eight, where's the eight? Oh, referral fee, the 15%. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Most, most I think it, it does vary slightly per product, but you want to be, you're going to be getting a, usually 15% of your revenue taken. Yeah. Uh, so you get you. Yeah. Generally, you want to at least, like, as a minimum, 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 have a hundred, a hundred percent ROI as a minimum. But realistically, you want to go more towards one hundred and fifty percent, just to give yourself. Yeah. If you fall below that hundred percent and below, say, a thirty-five percent gross margin, you're usually looking at a cash negative business. So you're going to have to keep pumping money in from your own pocket. Keep yeah. Um, the whole kind of beauty of the Amazon business model is that you can use, in fact, done well and done, done, kind of. With a bit of luck, you can start with a set amount of money and you shouldn't have to if you don't want to keep pumping more money into it. Like a lot of people will because they're seeing other product opportunities and they, they have, they're, they're not so patient, which is kind of what me and me and Alex are doing at the moment because we believe in the business model. But you can make your initial investment just be your sole investment and then just use yeah. the to build it organically. I mean, it, like, so, I mean, I, I just quickly went through again and then I selected, I, I looked at this one. But I, we're getting a lot of, like, furniture and stuff like this in the month, like, what we're looking at. But, um, I mean, this one has got a lot of variations, which, you know, we talked about before is one thing we do, we do try and stay away from. But, but again, it's just two, two photos here. Um, you know, I mean, the sales are a bit inconsistent weirdly like in april it looked like it did really well and then lately i guess maybe because of christmas coming up but um but i think this was doing 100k it's the number one bestseller in dining room which i mean i don't know if urban shop is i think it's it looks like it's a big big amazon brand but the, the, you've got that oh, oh, but you've got that chair in your ring. <laughs> I, mean, I think i've got a pink version i don't think it support his weight so no <laughs> All right, let's keep the commitment. You guys pick some out on here because I feel like it's, I'm getting a lot from like the. Let's, let's change the uh, change the. the yeah, that, that's why I don't. I'm not too keen on home and kitchen for go that with, reason. Let's go with the go with the you go with pets or something. Pets always throws up. Uh, you get you get a lot of pet food products. Let's let's stick with these two because we've got automotive and we've got. Um, so with, we've got, the, with the reason I said to Dan earlier, if people are still watching from the start, well done to to keep him. <laughs> Maybe a 20 minute video. Um, so what one angle you can take is say Dan, Dan's passion say is, is, is cars, right? So let's say we do find a car product, which is say like a steering wheel cover, for example. We haven't got to do that product, but let's, we can look into it and we can explore that, that niche. So as Dan has a passion for it and he might have purchased a lot of items for his car, 
you haven't got, you can obviously use helium, you can use data really well, but you can, like, it's, it's human interaction, it's humans buying from other humans. So you can write a list down, you can write your kind of your product kind of journey, I guess, as, a, as, a, as an enthusiast of that, of that niche. And Dan can write down every single product he's ever bought for his car. It should make a physical list, might be 25, 30 products, and then one by one search them on Amazon, use, use X-Ray, and you might find most of them probably aren't, aren't worth doing, but you might even find one or two in there. And then that's something you're passionate about and you have knowledge about. And you know it's a passion, a passion niche as well. People will spend money on it, just like pets, just like sport, just like with, with cars as well. And you know that because you do it yourself. Use that knowledge that you've acquired over your kind of years of, of being interested um, and, and work off that as well. This is, you haven't got to just use black box and use helium. There's lots of other kind of techniques to, uh, to research as well. Definitely. Yeah. All right, let's, let's try and pick some out here. We're not having much luck here, are we? With, uh, I mean, like, like, let's just, for, for shits and giggles, let's have a look at this. So this is a, this is a pulley hoist. So this, but Dan, this is the sort of shit, right, that, that Tom and I would look at because, like, it's weird. A lot of people won't really look at it. Um, yeah. But, you know, let's, so let's have a look at, like, historic. Like, a lot of these seem to be very inconsistent. So you can see when it goes really high here, it means it wasn't doing very well. So when, when you do the x-ray on it and you check out, you know, what its revenue is at the moment, which at the minute it's, what's it doing like? So it's only doing like 10K, which isn't too bad, but it means it's doing 10K like around here where the, where the BSR is like 20,000. So what does, so when you're seeing that graph, you're seeing inconsistency. Is that, is that the first thing you look for? You look for the red thing, maybe a bit of, yeah, that, that, that's the first immediate thing because I've noticed when you go onto a listing, you go straight down here and you look at the graph. Yeah, because what like what we're trying to see is like a lot of people like you might just look at this right and it'll tell you how much money it's estimated to be doing right now. But what you want to know is does it does it do that consistently? So like you yeah. Can, so what you can do is you can highlight this and you can zoom in, and this will show you from September. So you can see only really since July it started doing quite well. Um, it might have just sort of. But why do you think that is then? Is there a way that you can? Are you able to see why it's doing a little bit better? Is it because it's brought the price down? Is it seasonal? What What do you think, based on the data, is the reason why it's doing better since May? We we, we would want to look at this, like to see is that inconsistent? Is you don't want to get you you want to utilize the fact that you can look back historically because if a product just popped off in the last three months and you're looking at it, it's doing like 25, 30K, there's, there might be a reason for that. So that's one reason to, to look at this. This could just be a case of, they've been online for a long, long time, like what was it, three, three four years? Their, their rivals might have just, well, five years, well, so their rivals might have just kind of sold, sold out, the rivals might have stopped. They, they've kind of just longed out the game. And at this point now, they're, they've cracked it. I mean, they the list is not very good at all. I mean, Oh, it is poor. The reviews, what the reviews like? They're pretty average, right? 293, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, is it, I mean, when did COVID hit? I mean, it could be, it could be related to COVID perhaps. Like, I don't know exactly what this is for, but sometimes you'll find a lot of stuff is just suddenly, I mean, COVID was like March time. I mean, that, like, let's, let's have a guess there. Like, I mean, that's obviously not strong enough to hold up a, a car, but if you're going to hoist something up to work on it, Let's say because of COVID, people are at home a lot more. There's a mum joke in here somewhere, isn't there? No, it's not. It's sex joke, not mum joke, but I leave it now. <laughs> Sorry, Tom's mum, if you're watching. I apologise. Hey, it's <laughs> uh, And that's a wrap, everyone. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> that, Sorry, that, Tom. That, Sorry to interrupt. That tumbler of wine's gone to your head, mate. You got too fucking. <laughs> um, no, people are, like, for example, with this, people are probably doing kind of home improvement work as as a guess. So maybe since since COVID hit, I mean, it's of... position use with a gamble to properly position deer and heavy game. So people are using it to hoist things like that they've shot. So, uh, yeah, I think that's a bit of an unusual. Maybe people have just gone out hunting since yeah. COVID and just but started it, to, rather than go to the supermarket and spend money, they've gone out, gone out to buy it, and and now they're hoisting it off the back of their pickup truck, which makes sense. These will be 
these will be niches where, again, this is what America is quite good for, where us in the UK, like, it's very rare people go for a hunt. Um, but here, obviously, people, oh, there you go. Well, it's not multiple use, use as well, but you can exactly, find yeah, like you're saying, no. That's a really weird looking deer, though, right? <laughs> 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 All right, so we should we should we dive? Should we keep going? Let's let, let's look at another couple, another couple, and then and then maybe maybe think about wrapping it up because it's my bedtime. Yeah, yeah. we're an hour ahead of this game. It's like it's getting late. Isn't it? <laughs> All right, but I mean, I mean, like Tom was saying before, this is what it takes. Like, it, you don't find something in half an hour. Like, you've really got to go through. And you've got to like look in. I mean, I mean, let's have a look at this. Like, this is a, these weird ones. I like looking at. It was quite funny with this. Like, you, you, you'll see on when you search product research videos on on YouTube, um, you'll, which probably is the most searched for term in in this space. You'll see twenty thousand products found in ten minutes. How I found a fifty k product in five minutes. And these gurus, these gurus are doing that. They're not selling those products. So they've, it's very easy to find a product yeah. that's thousand. It doesn't mean you yeah. it's, it's just It's just a bollocks kind of yeah. uh, hook line to get you in. And don't get me wrong, we're going to write a hook line for this video. <laughs> <laughs> How we found a million pound product in one minute. But, you know, it's what you got to do. So, so you can see here, these sales are a bit more consistent. Like they are a little bit up and down still. Um, but again, when you use this image filter sort of search where you limit it to a, to a maximum of three images, you get these listings that are just like shit. Like, I don't know whether this is, maybe this is a big brand that people recognize from off Amazon, um, which is hard to compete against. Sorry, Down no? badge as well. Yeah, I mean, so this is only doing five and a half K. Um, I think it's sold by Amazon as well. So that, that looks a bit... But I mean, I mean, yeah, it's not bad, so I mean, what we would do at this point is we would, we, we would look at this and then, I mean, what I would do is I'd look at the, I always click on the keywords because I want to see what the keyword that it ranks for and then, you know, what the volumes are. So we can see, I mean, look, I mean, the top keyword it's ranking for is this one. It's not that big. So this looks like the main keyword, which is air conditioner drip pan. So it's only got 225 competing products, which is pretty good because it means that's not. Amazing. So if we if we take a look at this as a keyword, so you can see here, there's there's not a ton of competing products. Um, well, it looks like we've got. So this is one thing that Tom mentioned before, right? Do you remember when we were talking about the the sponsored ads at the top, and and, yep. and on that that first product we looked at, there was four sponsored ads. Yeah. Well, right now you've only got this one here. And then you've got, you've got this, which looks like a brand ad, but the, the top row isn't just full of sponsored ads. So it probably means it's a little bit less competitive. Yeah. And you see there, look, so that you've got 13 reviews, 214 reviews, higher up a minute ago, there was one that only had 100, oh, 121. So that's, that's, that, that's good. So I mean, there's one there with 3,000, but... You know, these, these kind of lower review, review guys have got straight in there and are ranking high on page one, which is And if we, if we look at the overall revenue here... Well, Amazon got all these buy boxes. Yeah, so they're all Amazon, basically. So that's that, maybe another telling sign, Dan, is... So we're hitting you with a lot of different uh, kind of points here. There's a lot to take in, but hopefully you can... No, take it's good. Bit. See, see how it says uh, AMZ, 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 MFN, FBA? So yeah. Next to the track, so... MFN, so that's Merchant Fulfilled, then Amazon, AMZ is like Amazon themselves, but F, if you see a lot of FBA, like when you see, FBA's quite far down there, that's, that's kind of rare, but what, what you'll find, if, if you see products that are mainly FBA fulfilled when, when you're doing this search, that's probably quite, quite a good thing because it means that it works. Um, yeah. You don't want to have crazy competition, but that means that they're making that model work. So that gives, that gives you a good clue that you can probably source it and ship it with Amazon for a good amount of money and, and make a good enough margin on it. So it's a good little indicator to, to know to look a bit deeper. Yeah. I mean, the, the overall revenue for it, like it is, it is a bit off-putting that it's just Amazon, but um, I mean, I think if Amazon have shitty listings, you can still compete with them. Um, let, let's go back to this one again and keep, uh, let's look at a couple more and then. Let's do, let's, do one more like, let's do one more like this and then maybe we'll go, uh, we can go old school and just try one thing on the actual use Amazon itself. Yeah. Give it a night. 
Katie Ball. Well, I say it in silence. Everyone should like our like our pages, like our uh, like the videos and comment. You want some more engagement, but <laughs> we're really open to, to helping people out. We we kind of, we're pretty active in some of the kind of big the big Facebook groups and and other other platforms as well uh, in the Amazon space. So we have got a Facebook group now. We want to start a bit of a community. Um, we've also got obviously this YouTube page. So if you can like and you can subscribe, um, we've got. Instagram and Twitter now as well. So we'll be kind of knocking a bit out on there, but just feel free to engage with us. Like we're, we're very happy to speak to people. We've been doing it quite a lot recently. And we, we learn when we're getting asked questions because kind of consolidating our, our knowledge and, and it's nice to kind of help people out. We, we, when we first started doing this, we, I mean, I had a bit of help Ooh. from Alex, obviously not a lot because he's quite a dumb guy, but <laughs> <laughs> once you get into it, it's, 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 there's always someone that's done something uh, in, there's always someone that's been in your position. So just feel yeah. free to, you've probably, if you watch some of our other videos, we've been through a lot in the last six months in terms of we were banned for a, a, over a hundred days. We've had hijackings. We've had uh, going out of stock. We've had crazy PPC spend. We've had really good success. We've had like oh, a mixture of things that I think most people go through in, in a couple of years. We've done it all in six months. So we've got, we have got quite a lot of knowledge to give. Um, and we're really handsome, so let's get in touch with us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've, I've changed it up a little bit. I've, I've put it in, um, I've put garden supplies in here because automotive was was a little bit, um, yeah, was coming up a little bit dry. Um, so let's, let, let's look at a couple more and then uh, if you guys see any, just let me know. See, this is the thing though, like you've, you've really got to go through and you, Quite often, I mean, I think I think what we've found, we've we've not found it directly through this. We've found it like through something else, um, and that's okay, isn't it? I, I remember I asked, I've asked you this a few times, and you that's all right if you do that and you end up going going looking at stuff, but just try and try and try and look at the data and just don't get kind of too bogged down in it if it if it doesn't look yeah. like it's making sense. So for anyone watching, it's it's okay to do this. I mean, that's not, yeah, exactly. Like, what's this, for example? I mean, this is probably going to be fucking huge, isn't it? But oh, tough pine straw, right? I sort of picking. I mean, stuff this up, is isn't it? this is massive, but yeah, and again, the sales are very inconsistent. So why don't why don't we go down to the uh, related product and see if Yeah, good idea. So customers have viewed it maybe for gardeners. So this looks like a load of rakes. What about, is there anything in the, uh, Jemba, I had a bit of a, I mean, I'm going to give away a product now, which you're definitely not going to do, so it's not too bad. What about those lawn aerator shoes that uh, I was, I had a little look at for a while? Yeah. Maybe, maybe give them a search at the top. These are kind of, I didn't know what these existed, but this, uh, Helium kicked these up to me a, a little while ago when we were first looking. So this has got, this was, you could tell it was on its way to being really saturated. So look, someone there sponsored 14 reviews. So they've just been given the same data as I found. Um, they've obviously gone with it. Maybe it's gone well for them, but. I mean, let's have a look, let's, yeah, let's have a look at these guys. Cause, cause we were looking at these for a while, but weren't we? You're a sponsored advert. You're a scumbag, aren't you? Yeah, I am. The, 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 the cost of dollar. <laughs> <laughs> look, this, look, this is exactly, this, this is 100% exactly like, Someone's found this on Helium, without a doubt. They've, if you, can you just show the listing again? So they've done the photographs, we go through them. They're, they're not bad at all. Like they've done, that's a good piece of good text. They've got some lifestyle shots in there. I, I'd hazard a guess, and that's, that's awful. That's, that's, that's pretty good. I'd hazard a guess they've probably done the freedom ticket. They've probably done a course. They've got the, you know, the bullet point, um, the bullet points on the sorry, the capitals and the bullet points they've got the use of the bullet points they've got a decent title so they, they've kind of ticked all the boxes of what they think they should do this might well work them. it's brand new as well and they sold out straight away maybe we should have done it maybe i shouldn't have said this and given it away but oh well i think it, it doesn't <laughs> i don't think it's doing much revenue uh two and a half k so when you say tom that um this one was one that came up this absolutely came up by by using Helium 10 and it came up as a result of parameters that you set, yeah? Exactly, mate. yeah, yeah. So we, I, was, I think this one came up because of the review. So like you'll see, look, look at these here, like three, if you go back, can you go back Alex just to that last section? So look, three and a half stars, four stars, three and a half. So poorly reviewed product, but the sales revenue wasn't too bad. Yeah. Uh, 
this is a product with, we we looked at it a bit more did a bit kind of data analysis on it there's it was getting more saturated there was so this one we went onto alibaba and i kind of looked at the pricing sourcing it there were so many factories offering this which to me is a real indication that mark even if the market wasn't that saturated at this point so this is about six months ago look at this but i could tell it was about to get saturated because so many factories are jumping on it and that obviously means that there's high volume now you better slow down on that drink mate uh, but <laughs> this guy i mean this guy's gone for it two and a half thousand is obviously it's not, not great not, but, yeah. he, but again if you go down again he's got brand registry as well um so you see he's got the extra i mean that's crap to be honest i mean i wouldn't, I wouldn't go for that but you know he's he's just as i said earlier he's just ticked all the boxes of what he thinks he should do um, it's just in the end, at the end of the day, he's, he's picked, he's picked a piece of shit product because they're, they're crap that, that, that would cost probably from memory $3 to make. But if you, if you look at the reviews, I'd, I'd say a guess now we go on the, oh, you've actually got good reviews. That's maybe a bit stupid, but I say that a lot of them with the negative reviews, they're just very cheap pieces of plastic. So yeah, like this. Like four with this many reviews, if it's four out of five, it's probably not the greatest. Like this one's three and a half stars. Yeah, it's basically a bit of a shitty product, isn't it? But, um, yeah, but basically, you don't want to sell. You don't want to sell crap. Like if you sell crap, you're going to get crap reviews. So you should yeah. you want to put your business out on, on a product yeah. that's decent. Yeah. Shall we do like a uh, in garden and outdoor? We do like the B. Um, the old school technique. Yeah. Yeah. So this is one thing that you can do, Dan, is you can just do like, um, you can just sort of type this in and then and then you can see, so bear mountain pellets. Uh, be a bear... clamshipping holder, that's pretty niche. Which one? That be one. a clamshipping holder. Wait, be... Yeah, that's not a big decent, right? Oh, I think I saw this, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, th I mean, if you look at this, this is only 137 results. Yeah, there's not there's not a ton of people selling it. What's the volume on, on this? The keyword, huh? What's the keyword volume on this? Um, is that this the um on the on the main on the main pe uh, page? What's the uh, volume of the actual search? Term? Can I see it through there though? Yeah, if you go on here. It should it should give me the uh... ten thousand. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty good, man. Like ten and a half thousand, only a hundred and was that one hundred twenty-seven competing products? Yeah, look Public at the revenue. That's kind of mad, isn't it? What? Look at that. That's decent spread. Let's see the spread there. The top three are sponsored anyway. Yeah, thirty-six k, but you know, seven k, six k. If you can get in there, that's not that's not too bad. You know, it's probably. I mean, this is a, probably a little bit on the cheap side. Some of them, but twenty-five bucks isn't bad. Twenty-six bucks. Probably isn't isn't too big. I imagine that isn't isn't oversized, is it? Just about. Large standard, yeah. yeah so look, so look there, look, so they've if you can open that up again. Now. So this isn't necessarily right, but it's gone on the profitability calculator again. So that they've got a, a forecasted margin there of thirty nine percent, which is really healthy. ROI one hundred and fifty nine. So they're guessing that the the manufacturing cost is five nineteen. What you can do again is use this. So when it, if you can jump onto Alibaba, find this product, and then you can obviously find a rough cost. You can edit this this box. So you can change. Let's say it costs eight bucks. Even you're still gonna if you can change that to eight, the, the unit manufacturing. So it will live change the ROI. So if it's that yeah. expensive for you to land it, then it probably isn't going to be good for you. But if you can find it and adjust it to suit, uh, that actually well that's, that's actually quite a new product. They're doing pretty well now. Yeah. I mean, the, the the thing with this is like the the listing is pretty fucking good. Like, this is a pretty high quality listing. It's got two videos. It's, it looks it's got brand registry. Look, with all this means they're brand registered. So, th I mean, this would be difficult. I mean, this is the top seller in the niche. And it, but I mean, this has only been selling since June. Yeah. So they launched they launched this in June. Look, and it's. I say they've gone out of stock twice as well by the looks of things. Yeah, and this is doing like what was this like thirty six k a month. Um, if we look at the sales here, it might be spiking because of Christmas. Yeah, I mean, it, it started to improve well, recently, but I mean, yeah, but still, still, what are doing? Doing, still doing decent, yeah. What are you doing? Twenty a day? That's that's definitely worth worth a proper yeah. look. This is actually, 
I wish we found this an hour ago, to be honest, for the start of the video, but it's, that's pretty good. <laughs> I mean, the thing about this is, is like, I, what we would do here is we would like probably, we'd probably go through all of these listings and we'd, we'd kind of like get an idea of like overall, like what are the, um, you know, what's the quality of the, the, the lit, like the thing that would put me off about this is like these listings are pretty good. Um, you're, it's going to be pretty hard to stand out against these guys. Like it's not, it's not going to be easy to sort of look much better. Like there might be something that people also buy with this that you could perhaps bundle it with. But um, another another good sign of this as well is on that main. Oh, that's a good listing. On that main landing page, they. Oh, that's, that looks a bit fake. On the main landing page, I think as you scroll down, that it, the products. A good sign as well is that the, the products change quite quickly. So yeah. I know that is a beer, I guess that is a beer can holder, but let's say, can you go down a little bit further and see if it changes? So a good sign would be if a product which isn't the keyword is, is appearing quite high. They actually are here, not but that it, if it was hypothetically speaking, showing other products. Like, here, like this, like if, if this here wasn't an ad. Yeah. Then, yeah. Then, yeah. That's a really good point, actually. And one thing that we look for a lot is if you get, like Tom says, if you get halfway down and you see the products have changed and it's not what the keyword is, it means there's not that many people ranking for it. So you've got an opportunity to come in there. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, we, probably, we probably covered, do you want to do one more and then we'll wrap it? Yeah, let's, let's, should, should, we, should, we keep, should we just keep on? Because I, I think we, we actually did get more from the Amazon thing, don't we? But. Um, should we just sort of click on, on something that we see and then go down the rabbit hole a little bit there? Well, we can stick, we can stick in the, maybe in the barbecue. What are the, why are we typing barbecue at the top? What, what else comes up? If we see barbecue colors, I'm really... <laughs> Barbecue set, barbecue gift set. Barbecue tomorrow, look at that. What, bar what are barbecue grabs like? Barbecue what? Grabs there, yeah. That's gonna be uh, mega competitive, no? Perhaps. I think I've seen these on another video at some point. Look at this. Look at this with the flames. That's illegal. They're not supposed to do that. <laughs> Fucking... Illegal. <laughs> Against terms of service, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Should we have a look at the overall revenue? Yeah, sorry. That might have been a bad call. I've had, I've, this has been a long, a long video. I think I've seen these on another video and it's like, yeah, like some of these, like, that's doing nearly a, nearly a million a month. All FBA though, isn't it? What? Speaking of Tom's mum, and she got a pair of gloves like that as well. <laughs> the end of the video, boys. Nobody's watching. No one mentioned, you didn't mention my mum when you said about someone being fat, you cheeky bastard. <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, we've, we've covered a lot of angles here. Like yeah, we, we have, we have, we have. Um, yeah. Like obviously, yeah, we're, we're going to we'll, we'll do a uh, maybe more concise and in-depth in product research video in, in the future as well. Um, we'd, we'd, but we really want help from people just to tell us tell us what you guys want to see. Like I said, and have a bit more engagement and, and put some requests in. Like we we can make any any type of video at the moment. Obviously, you can go back and watch our our back catalogue, our, our great our greatest hits. Um, we're, we're currently on yeah twenty six subs, so we're gonna we're gonna raise that up a little bit. By the time you see this, maybe we're, we're kind of into in the thousands, hopefully. Um, <laughs> at the moment, you know, we, we have got a new uh, a double product launch coming in January, we think it will be. January, maybe maybe early Feb. So we are documenting that. So we've got... Uh, <laughs> it's pretty threw me off there, those glasses. Uh, we've got uh, a case, kind of a, a three-part series. So the first part's already out. Um, then we, the second part's going to come soon where we're going to actually like, build the listing and kind of see what kind of research we do. Um, and then we're going to document the launch as well, going into, into Q1. So, you know, good things like that, where we are the honest entrepreneurs. We're trying to kind of really show you the truth behind the new Amazon business. Um, this kind of, it's not all going to glitz and glamour. You're going to see this, this side of it where you've got to put in a lot Is it of... Not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah like, like Dan is there. Like Dan, Dan, Dan's already, you know, spending nights up till three or four in the morning doing this and... It, it, this it doesn't look the most fun, but when you get down a rabbit hole, it kind of is fun because you're seeing you're just seeing so many ways to make money that you didn't know existed, and it's exciting because you see that other people like you are doing it, uh, and yeah. you know you, it has it's not 
some crazy dream is very, very achievable. And if you just got to kind of put in a bit of work now and, and find the right bits, then you can definitely do it. For sure, yeah, yeah. Um, right, yeah. I mean, thanks for joining us, Dan. I know we went a bit over time, didn't we? But um, that's all good. I think it's good practice for our future videos, and and um, it, it's good to have you on board. Good to have you, you know, joining the journey of uh, becoming Amazon millionaires. So um, let's let's catch up again, and let's like see what we can do to you know an, another video with some good content. Perhaps I'm looking at Alibaba and stuff like that, or. Um, you know, maybe we can, you know, we can find some pre-existing products and, and, and look at them and, and, and do it that way. But, um, yeah. Cool. Bye, guys. Thanks, Thanks guys. Bye. See you later. Bye. See you all soon. Bye.